Whoopsie. <laughs> Alright, we're back in the garage. Last time we were down here, I took the transmission down when I had the uh, broken bell housing. I'll link to that video here. My buddy came over while I was at work yesterday, ended up JB welding the bell housing and uh, actually reinstalling the transmission for me. So shout out to him. Thanks Proctor for doing that. That was really awesome. But today now we have to put the drivetrain back in and really just start putting things back together. I don't want to get my hopes up, but realistically, I could be trying to turn this thing on in the next couple of days. So, let's get to it. Step one, drivetrain. This is the parking brake cable. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to have to put the drivetrain over it. Oh, is that supposed to be there like that? Seems strange. It's a seven sixteenths. Okay, here we go. What do we got here? Seven sixteenths. And like, oh, wrong way, you dope. There we go. On this episode of Dope's Garage, uh, tightening bolts with no torque wrench. That should do it. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Oh god, gotta get out from under here. Here, let's do this together. Where's the light? Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Holy moly, we're out. We're out. We're getting out. Okay. Alright, now that the drivetrain is in, what can I do next? Let's, uh, screw it. Let's start putting the motor back together. I'm gonna put the, uh, the headers back on. Come on, sweetheart. Come right through. There we go. I would normally listen to music when I work on the car, but this is going on YouTube, and the last thing we need is another copyright strike. I keep hearing shit falling down. I don't see anything. What's falling? Oh, oh that was a bolt falling. Oh, why aren't you screwing in? Come on. Oh, there we go. Nope, nope, nope. Not grabbing. Why aren't we grabbing? Why isn't that grabbing? And there that one goes. And there goes that bolt. This is why I could never do instructional videos when it comes to working on cars. It's just complete chaos. Got a lot of respect for those people releasing those uh, instructional car videos. That's not what this is. This is me doing dumb shit. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. Come on, grab you son of a... Come on, why isn't it screwing in? I'm like hanging halfway out of the engine compartment. This stupid thing isn't light either. Come on. I break. I broke a spark plug. I fucking just broke a spark plug. I should have taken the spark plugs out. This episode of Dope's Garage, we have learned that you should remove the spark plugs prior to the installation of a header. That was the sound of random stuff falling that I couldn't figure out a second ago. Okay, I'm right there. Yeah. What a dope. I'll break another one. Because as us car guys know, spark plugs are very expensive. 
<laughs> I broke another one. Look at this. Oh, then I dropped it. One header on. All right, what did we learn earlier? To take the spark plugs off first. Oh God. Oh God, it's stuck. Oh no. Why is this stuck here? Oh shoot. That is really stuck in there. Oh, it's stuck on the starter, son of a gun. Oh boy. There we go. Freedom! Woo! Okay. Where did my ratchet go? Oh. <laughs> the power's connected. And what we learned today on Dope's Garage? Disconnect the power. That was shocking. Oh no. Where did my tool just fall? It's hanging. Oh my goodness. There we go. Am I missing a bolt? I'm missing two bolts. Found one! This garage is a disgusting mess. All right, so I got the drivetrain on, I got the headers on. I think I'm gonna call it a day now. We learned some valuable things. We learned to remove the spark plugs before the installation of the headers so that you don't crack them and destroy them. And we also learned that I should have cut the power because I nearly damn killed myself. That one killed me. That ain't gonna kill me. It's gonna take more than that. And I thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. I will see you next time.